Oh, crunchy roll. Oh, crunchy roll. How much I want to sing your praises. Oh, crunchy roll. Oh, crunchy roll. How I hope we would not be in this sit situation. So what do you do when you order from Crunchyroll and your order is stuck for over four months? You have items that you've been waiting over four months for and it's just continued to grow and grow and grow. Welcome to the GTP. My name is Scott where we talk all things manga. In this video I'm going to go ahead and discuss with you my journey and experience dealing with one of my orders stuck at Crunchyroll for over four months. If you've been following my channel for a while, you heard a bit of my frustrations, and I finally got the entire order just over about two months ago. So that came from that order in October. I had everything from a missing reader. This came out last November in the big uh, middle-ish. And then I thought it'd be good just to show what all was in that order because I did nothing but pre-orders and at the time if it was your very first order you they had this lovely promo code CR new if you haven't taken advantage of it get 15% off so I ordered all these lovely things here as well as that order had these volumes here and the order had all this lovely stuff as well but what happened? How did we get here with Crunchyroll? And what can you do going forward if you are ever in my situation? And I do hope as I just share with you along the way the journey, what happened, and then how do we go from here and what I've learned along the way, I hope I can share with you to help avoid some of the frustrations and with the goal of it never taking four months for you to finally receive all your volumes. Yes, some of these things came out right towards the end, but they were pre-orders and Crunchyroll has this disclaimer, their policy that when things are close to being ready to ship, if it's available, they should ship that right away. And for some reason, Crunchyroll was willing to do that on my other orders. But when it came to this one order, it just got held up and held up and held up. And with over 40 emails later, we finally had some success. Now, first off, you should never be in a situation where you're waiting this long for your order. And I had to, you know, if I'm being honest, my expectations might have been just a little too high with the customer service because when they bought out Right Stuff Anime, Right Stuff Anime had such phenomenal customer service. Now, there was a couple of years ago with Right Stuff Anime that I had an order, everything was in stock, but it did not ship at all. To the point, I think it was like a month later and things still had not shipped and I was like, what is going on? So I called Right Stuff Anime and I said, hey, my order has not yet shipped. And the gal pulled up my order and she's like, oh, we actually had a glitch in the warehouse. I'll go ahead, head down to the warehouse myself right now we will ship this order today. I am so sorry. So I was like, oh, thank you. Hung up the phone, didn't think much of it. And I kid you not, two hours later, I got an email confirmation from Rights of Anime that my order shipped. Unfortunately, with, with Crunchyroll, it's not quite the same as their customer service with the warehouse. My guests are probably in separate locations because they are not able to act in that way. So what happened? So let's go ahead, I'll cut it a little short here, but over this 40 emails, the first thing they recommended was said, hey Scott, what we'd like to do is have you cancel the entire order. Now, that just was not an option for me, and there's two reasons why. First is, I didn't want to lose that 15% off uh, promo that I had for the order. My second was, things that I ordered were now not in stock. And I had this fear that if I cancel the order, if you see on our lovely Crunchyroll, they do not have the advantage where I can back order something that is not currently available. And that's probably the biggest feature that I miss from Right Stuff Anime is being able to back order stuff. So when it does get reprinted, it does come back in stock, I have a copy copy safe and secure and ready to go. So I don't know with Crunchyroll, to be honest, if when you order something that they're placing it on the side for you, I hope they are. But in this situation, because some of the items were out of stock, even if I redid the order, lost a 15% off coupon, I couldn't order certain items that were on that order as I just waited longer and longer and longer. So that was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then this is, 
how I got to a solution was I ended up all first off is I asked them five specific questions and I'm going to share those questions with you. So if you're in this situation where you're going back and forth, I learned if there was five strong questions I asked to be able to get some kind of movement with them. First question I asked was, can you please provide a more specific estimated time frame on when my order will ship? Even a range. The second question I asked was, also, are there any specific items in my order that you're experiencing the delay due to discrepancies? Knowing this will help me manage my expectations. Third question I asked, last, canceling my order is not an option. Is there any way to prioritize my order for fulfillment and minimize the wait time. And fourth, I ended up asking, hey, I appreciate your generosity. And since you mentioned uh, the possibility of doing something to make this experience better, because you are saying it is an inconvenience, is it possible to get some kind of discount or store credit? Just a gesture of goodwill. And the fifth question I asked is ultimately, I value my order and would prefer to be fulfilled as originally placed. I'd appreciate any additional options or solutions that you can offer to mitigate the cause of this delay. Now, with asking these five questions, I do want to say right off the bat, make sure that you are kind. When you're sending an email with them, remember it is a human being on the other side and they deserve kindness and respect. They personally don't have a vendetta against you. They purposely haven't held up your order. They're just a person who now has to deal with this situation. I used to be uh, <laughs> in customer service where people would constantly call and the customers that yelled and screamed at me the most, they were the least likely I wanted to help and go out of my way to try to solve their problem. The customers that called in, the very few that were kind, that were generous and understanding to me, I would bend over backwards trying to solve their problem. So I know you don't always, you may have someone that just doesn't care. And unfortunately, I will say my first person dealing with um, at Crunchyroll could use some coaching as it appears they just did not care. I asked those five questions. I was very kind and they did not really answer them. And when I would send them an email, sometimes it would be days before I get a response. And then if I sent them another email, all of a sudden they would email me again. I don't know if it's a ticket system where, oh, hey, this person still hasn't been helped. Now you need it. I would get an email back after sending a second one after a few days. All of a sudden they respond to that one in less than 24 hours. So I'm like, why can't you do that each time? But I don't know if this person needs coaching or they were just having a really bad couple months, but this person would not solve my problem. And I just got kind of fed up. And this is something I learned is if you're not getting the help that you receive from your customer service rep, go ahead and submit another ticket. I know they say, hey, only submit one ticket, but in this situation, I had to ask for somebody else. So I submitted a second ticket with Crunchyroll. I explained my situation, say, hey, I'm working with this person over here and they are not solving my issue. I have asked for five specific questions. They are not answering my questions. I'm not getting any help whatsoever. I just want to know what is going on. I do not want the only answer to be, let's just cancel the order. So surprise, surprise, I had this wonderful person, we'll just call them E, who answered the call and they were extremely kind and I started getting some traction. I learned two things happened with the order and essentially one was that there was some kind of glitch in the system that the order was not being told when to ship. So my items apparently were there for the order but they had no way to tell the warehouse that this order needed to be shipped. So uh, with those five questions, this person E answered that very well. And then they also gave me a $25 credit towards a future order. Now I did learn that $25 future credit does not stack with other coupons or discounts. So that was a bit of a bummer. So it kind of brought everything back almost to MSRP when I entered in the, the $25 off. So I just made a small order and then what it does is it just kind of divides that $25 off all that manga that you get. So that was a bummer, it didn't stack, but I was very grateful that this person E was very willing to even give me a credit and apologize and say, I'm willing to work with you, just give me a few days. Now, I appreciated that this person continued emailing me back and forth. They said, okay, let's try to see it, what's going on. And then within about a week and a half working with E, this person was finally able to get my entire order shipped. 
And I'm just so, so grateful that this person cared enough to go ahead and ship my order. And I do want to say behind the scenes, I never, I purposely never just dropped uh, a card of saying, hey, I, I do have a little bit of influence or hey, I have a channel. I did not want to pull that card as I, I didn't think that'd be fair and I didn't want any special treatment because I think we all deserve a good experience at Crunchyroll. We all deserve good customer service and it was a shame that in this situation, and I guess the biggest thing I learned from this is, hey, if I'm not getting help from this one person, I've done everything I can, I've exhausted all possibilities, I need somebody else. And this other person answered the call, and I think it was helpful with that other person. Uh, don't just do a fresh start, share with them everything that's happened so far, share with them that you have been working with somebody else, and your problem is just not getting solved. There are good people at Crunchyroll that do care. There are people who do want to get your order in. Besides this main situation here, I do appreciate Crunchyroll. Uh, since that, other than that one order, they are shipping manga fairly fast. And I, you'll see from my hauls uh, the photos of all these boxes because there's one or two volumes in each box because they've been shipping things out as they've received them. So I have really appreciated that. And I hope this is just a fluke and I will not be in this situation again. But that is just a little bit of my journey here. I wanted to share that with you just because, again, I don't want you to have to go through that same situation. If you were to ever go through that situation, I hope the story of just hearing my journey along the way will help just give you some ideas and thoughts. I'll even have my five questions below in the description for you of just some ways to help get things to move forward in a positive way and hope to have that you can have a good experience. As of right now, Crunchyroll is still my main source of ordering manga, but I don't know how much longer I can hold into the future because of that. Looking back, I very much rather have just spent another $10 difference in order from Mary Manga, and I wouldn't have had this hassle. I would have had this manga a long time ago. I should not have to wait four months for this alone. This would have been in my top 10 new manga releases of 2023, and I wasn't able to tell you that because I was still waiting for this. This is so good, and that, that was a bummer. We should be, especially if we're pre-ordering things, the, the idea of a pre-order is that it's gonna be held for you. And that way that you are guaranteed to receive that book is once in a while when new releases come for some reason, there isn't enough printed. Um, I think last year, Dia Dark, um, Rights of Anime, the year before they didn't get enough of Dia Dark. I wanna say it was volume five. And then I had to wait a few months to get that, even though that was pre-ordered, but I didn't pre-order early enough as I could. So I try to genuinely pre-order as early as I can because I want to be first in line to have a guaranteed copy and pay a better price. So I don't know what the future holds. Um, I hope that Crunchyroll will get better. There's still some kinks with their system and it's just, it's, it's just not right stuff anime. And I think we kind of have to grieve that loss knowing that it never will be right stuff anime. I don't think they are gonna ever let us uh, pre-order things or order things that are out of stock. And that is probably one of the biggest hiccups and such a bummer that I just wish would come back. And I'm not sure if any other place will ever give us that option again. But hey, if a place wants to, you can have my money in a heartbeat. So. That's all I have for you. If you'd like to see more content like this, you're not done so ready, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That way others know about this thriving community that we have built together. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. In the comments below, feel free to share or ask any questions that you have. I'd love to be able to take your questions. If you're trying to deal with an issue with an order, I'd love to be able to help any way I can. Just give some feedback to help to you to be able to have a good experience as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.